Welcome everybody to DC Show again and this is another episode of Diecast Cast and up in front today we have very very classic Hot Wheels collectibles so you know I'm presenting to you today five very very extraordinary pieces um, they are pretty rare to find um, definitely you cannot find in Singapore but probably in the US market you still can find one of these so if you can see behind there's these two okay these two behind this one here with the flame logo these are very very rare pieces now oh, this is these are convention pieces so i'll later i'll you know show you guys and this see this kb toy series hot wheels this is the special edition so without further ado um yeah let me you know show you guys so I believe you have seen this one before um, I think I didn't explain much uh, previously so this is the 55 uh, Chevy Bel Air now back in the uh, 50s you know this is one of the most popular you know design you know in terms of cars and 55 uh, Chevy Bel Air is one of you know many collectors favorite um, you look at the design of this you know see, see the flame decals and this 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 is really awesome you know nowadays modern cars are more curvy slick you know the kind of thing but man if you have this you know driving around on the road you know you're gonna look very very loud so i as a collector you know um love this kind of design flame as you guys know i'm a i'm a fire guy i like the flame decals you know the fire design yeah and if you look you know inside is green seats yeah it has green seats and this is one thing about 100% hot wheels collectibles is that you know they have moving parts you know yeah it has moving parts so you still can see the engine decals and very very you know if you look carefully over here you can see the rear lights you know back then you know design um are very very you know they do the designers did their best to you know to make it as um accurate as possible so this is the hot wheels collectible series um very very hard it's meant for adult collectors now if you take here's a description of it so during the mid 50s no one could match the chevrolet in capturing the hearts of car buyers with clean sporty designs in an era when body styles changed annually, the Chevy designers produced classic after classic. The 55 Bel Air with its slick lines and legendary small block V8 broke new ground in styling and sales, inspiring millions of drivers to see the USA in the in a Chevrolet. Chevrolet. Okay, sorry for my pronunciation. Our series of collectible vehicles is designed to touch the soul and stir the passions of automotive enthusiasts who appreciate cool designs and heart pounding performance. Each of these highly detailed 164 scale vehicles featured multi piece movable parts, top quality paint jobs, and come displayed in an individual collector's case collect and display the entire series of cool collectibles vehicles each sold separately subject to availability so this is backdated when 1998 1998 is uh, how long was it ago almost 23 years ago 23 years ago you know they came up uh, they designed this car this car was um, out for hot wheels but this is like 1955 car look at the art of it it's awesome so let's put this guy here uh next up um i'll, I'll show you guys this one later okay this is this is really very special i'll just show you the hot wheels collectibles first so this is the 68 1968 custom firebird convertible look at that i think nowadays uh, convertible cars are not very practical in Singapore, I believe, and city, I would say, because I mean, you're breathing um, exhaust <laughs> from another car. So, you know, back then, you know, in the old olden days, where the in the 50s, the 60s, where you know, 
cars are not as much as now. I mean, people do not, are not able to afford cars back then. So the air is still pretty clean. And this makes sense. And driving around in this in the countryside, man, it is very, very, very refreshing. But um, driving this in Singapore, I think it's, it's not a wise choice because you'll be breathing exhaust instead. So let's take a read. So they say, Form Fellows Functions. In 1968, the function of a muscle car was speed, speed and more speed. It came in the form of the Pontiac Firebird, the beautifully sculpted uh, custom Firebird body combined classic European influences with the in-your-face masculinity required of muscle cars in the mid-60s. Its 400 cubes of V8 engine produced 325 horsepower and burned the Firebird into the automotive history books. Our series of collector da, 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 da. Okay, it's the same. Okay, and this is 1998 too. So you see how evolution, you know, um, of cars, you know, are, are, are born from the 55. You know, this was damn hot during the 1955 and uh, 13 years later after that, you have this, you know, if a V8 engine, can you imagine, uh, you know, V8 engine has been there for so long and up to now, you know, of course, there are still V8 engines here and there, but definitely more upgraded version as compared before. And definitely now, you know, it's way, way more powerful. And finally, one of my favorite you see, as I say, I'm a fire guy. Look at that. I'm a flame guy. I love flame decals. And this is a Hummer. Okay, this is a bit different um, from the sports series, you know, the sports. So yeah, Hummer, it looks very robust. It looks buff. It looks like it has strength. It's a powerful four wheel drive. So let's take a read. So the military design Hummer was honorably discharged for civilian use in 1992. And eager consumers, which include a long visit of celebrity athletes, actors, and entrepreneurs, couldn't buy them fast. The Hummer or Humvee, which stands for High Mobili Mobility Multi Purpose Vehicle, uh, sorry, High Mobility Multi Purpose Wheel Vehicle offers an irresistible combination of power, agility, durability, and rugged good looks. Winner of the 1999 Baja 1000 off-road race, the Hummer has left its unique mark, both on, off, on and off the road. So I believe this is also a 1998. Yeah, you can see it's made in 1998. So yeah, Harman was actually, you know, as the description says, you know, it is meant for the US Army, you know, um, right now, if you can see the US Army, you know, the uh, Humvees, you know, it still has, you know, uh, characteristics of this, you know, design, this shape. So of course, it has, you know, um, the design of this, you know, has released to consumers uh, like all of us, you know, not just the army in 1992 and, you know, we can purchase this type of vehicles and look at the design of this, you know, look at the flame decal, so rustic, so, uh, so fierce and some of this is a very fierce car and oh man, I love this piece, really beautiful piece, um, whether to open and copy it, I am still considering, I just love the condition of it because um, I don't have to worry much about this because as you can see um, the rubber band inside already has I think it's gone I don't know where it go to so it is pretty much okay so yeah now without further ado let's just put this tree behind And we should take a look at this two very very wonderful pieces and not three I mean okay let's scroll the camera down a bit so you can see what's happening okay now let's take a look at this now this is uh, it says for ages over six year old okay 
and this is the special edition KB Toys Series 2. Now I don't have the Series 1 or whatsoever, um, but I managed to find this. This is one of my favorite, but before that, uh, yeah, take a look. This is also in made in 1998, you know, in China, Malaysia, or Thailand as much. So, yeah, look at that. So, without further ado, let me present to you this special edition. Now, look at this, people. This is the Chrome 63 T Bird and 59 Impala. Look at that, people. Look at that. I'm also a sucker for chrome vehicles and yeah so this this is already you know um, um it's already been out um, it's a loose piece it's already been opened so take a look at that people look at the wonderful decals of this chrome wonderful okay I think I better wear my glove because if not give me a second If not, this fingerprint is gonna be ugly. So, yeah. You don't want to have some oil on it, you know. So, this is very rare. This is really very rare. Very hard to find. Look at the details of it, you know. I'm sure you can see. Hot wheels. Look at the wheels back then. This is 1998. Can you believe it? 1998. Of course, the reverb looks a bit worn off, but man, what do you expect? It's something that's like 23 years ago. So this, this is made in Malaysia. Yeah, Malaysia. Okay, so let's take a look at next. So this is the, this is the 59 Impala. Lovely design, car de design. Look at the shape of it. So inside, you know, has good details, steering wheel, yeah. I think back in the days, you know, um, everyone really put in a lot of effort. Oh my gosh. Look, okay, this is super slick. Guys, this is super slick. So if you see, look at that steering wheel. Okay, as you see, the steering wheel is not as detailed as it is, but you know, Look at the rest of the design. Great design. So I think this is pretty hard to find. Um, uh, really, you don't get to see this, you know, very often on the shops or, you know, in the second market. It is really very hard to find. So, yeah, this is the KB Toys. Um, uh, series 2 special edition yeah so let's put this guy back okay. yes uh, and let me show off uh, this too over here okay now to the main highlight guys this is the wow weekend of hot wheels 2002 east coast convention guys this is really crazy man this is rare piece to find this is the 57 nomad and this is really a wonderful piece people Look at the East Coast Convention. It is really very, very hard to find. And look at the flame decals. You know, look at that. Wow. And let's look at that. Look at that. And this, this one, don't have to rubber band. I don't have to worry. So let's take a read. The World Weekend of Hot Wheels. As the passion of Hot Wheels collecting grows, so does the Wild Weekend of the Hot Wheels East Coast Convention. The third annual 2002 uh, Wild Weekend of Hot Wheels presented by Randy Rooster sent pizza in Connecticut. Connecticut. 
promises to give collectors a convention full of fun, excitement and new experiences, experiences in collecting. With the overwhelming success of the 2001 convention, DeFi is fueled to continue to bring collectors together with Mattel's Hot Wheels designers and others within the automotive design industry to share common interests and experiences. Each year, we provide a team to our convention with new innovative events that makes our show stand at the forepoint. This year's convention is dedicated to the collectors, the designers and Mattel, a trilogy that brings the passion into collecting. Wow. So you can see we have the 2000 okay, convention. Okay. The 2001 East Coast convention. Then the Randy Wooter set pizza. So there is different um, collect, uh, vehicles for this uh, convention. And this is the 202 Hot Wheels Wow Weekend East Coast third annual convention. And look at that design, guys look at that if you are nomad collector 57 nomad guys this is one piece that you should have in your collection okay next up we have the um shizu chizu 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 um yeah not sure what is that so yeah the hottest pizza around Woodster Sand Pizza Shop. I think that's one of the sponsors. The sponsor, if I'm not wrong. So look at this. I believe it has the same description as before. Yeah. And look at the design. Another flame design. Wonderful piece. Look at that. Great, great design. Great decals. Look at the fire. I think this one we can do a close up. Okay. Look at the fire design, guys. Look at the chrome, like a spectra flame kind of thing. So, these are really, really very rare piece, pieces to find. So, yeah, that's all for today's, you know, uh, short um, review of these cars classic cars, convention cars, Hot Wheel collectibles. Yeah, very hard to find. Very hard to find. I am thankful that I'm able to find all of them. So, well, um, I won't be opening up them. I'll be keeping it as is because this, uh, these are cuts that is not worth to open. And good thing is that there is no rubber band inside, so it's okay to keep it in. So that's all for this review uh, today. I hope to see you next time and you know now the numbers are increasing uh, daily numbers are increasing so I, I hope that you know you guys stay safe too okay so I'll catch you next time that's all for today bye bye DC out